What is going on guys, this is Dylan and today I will bring you a tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to reapply your thermal compound. Now this stuff is pretty basic but for the non-tech savvy out there this might become useful. Now before I begin make sure to mash that like button and don't forget to hit subscribe. Starting off, take off your CPU heatsink as well as your CPU. Make sure to place it somewhere safe because you don't want to damage the CPU. The heatsink is very robust and not to mention loud so you don't have to worry about it. Get your isopropyl alcohol and make sure it is at least a 70% solution. I suggest you don't go any lower than that. Next thing is to take a paper towel and put some alcohol and start rubbing the compound off of your CPU. This might take a little time depending on how dry the thermal paste is. Do the same thing with the CPU cooler. This part is only optional but I suggest you do it as well. Take off the fan on your heatsink, go get a brush and start brushing it to eliminate the dust. Do the same thing with your CPU fan. You might want to use a smaller brush on this one or just use a paper towel. As you can see, it is now very tidy than before. Putting on the heatsink back to the CPU fan might take some force, but don't worry, you won't break anything. As I have said, the stock cooler is pretty sturdy. Next thing is to return the CPU to your motherboard. You can see on the CPU that you have a triangle at the bottom as well as two cuts on the side. On your motherboard, you would see a triangle same as the one in your CPU and these two which will indicate the correct placement. Secure the CPU using the latch and apply a small amount of thermal paste as the same size as a cooked grain of rice. Place the CPU cooler back into place and reconnect the power connector for the fan and you're all set to go. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.